Welcome to the Crazy Sam Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might explode for one. Let's crack into another one. So I guess Yo. there is an allegation. An allegation? In the chess community. Oh, Magnus Carlsen? Okay. I don't know. Hold on. No. Uh, Hans Niemann. Hans Niemann. Okay. Oh, yeah. Magnus Carlsen. I know what's going on. I know what's going on here. Are so, you kidding me? If you this didn't was, bring this to the podcast. You didn't think this was a quality story to talk I about. I don't think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I just, I just, I just So laugh. there's an allegation that he used vibrating anal beads to cheat in chess somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen. Magnus Carlsen is a prodigy. All right. He was considered the, the second coming of Bobby Fischer, and he is a chess genius. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And he has been one since he was a child. And much like any other child actor or child prodigy, he's got an ego to him as an adult. Yeah, because because if you're that good as a kid, how can you be worse when you're older? So when he was playing against Hans Niemann and he was like, this guy's cheating. He was like, this guy's got to be cheating. Oh, because he was actually beating him? The yes. hubris was so real that he said that he it was cheating. Yes, and then like I see, and I'm I'm having some difficulty remember some of the, the like the intricacies Truth of the not story. Facts, it's fine. Intricacies of the story, but I believe that Neiman admitted to cheating in prior tournaments, but not in the one that he was participating in. If currently. he ever admit to cheating, why aren't you banned forever? Because the tournaments were like online tournaments and they were before he was actually a part of the league. Oh, I see. I so see. he admitted he to cheated it. in college. Yeah. And I think I think the way he admitted it, I don't know if he were asked necessarily, but then there was a whole thing of like, I believe that he's receiving help from like an earpiece or like a, a, um, a, a microphone. And then it was like, I think he's receiving butt tickles. Yes, but that that came from uh, Magnus Carlson, who is known for just kind of being like, honestly, it's like is he a pompous ass. He's kind of like the who's the uh, the UFC guy, Irish dude. Oh, McGregor. He's kind of like a Colin McGregor of, of the chess? chess of chess. Yes. Oh, like the guy in bowling used to do the DX chop. I can't think of that guy's name. <laughs> X Pac. No, there was a guy in bowling who used to like oh. get. And he would do the DX chop yeah, and the crotch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's like the 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 uh, John Daly of golf. Like the, yeah. yeah. So it. he, but I mean, like, but he's really the good. bad boy of chess. But he's really good. You I mean, most of the time you got to be good to do that. Exactly. You can't deny the fact that he has countless like accolades. But as soon as somebody comes along that challenges him, people are like, oh. So as soon as somebody comes along that starts beat that might beat you. All of a sudden, you don't want to play anymore. It's the Rafael on the doll, Pete Sampras. So when they were actually supposed to play, it is that. It is that. Yeah, so yeah. when they were actually supposed to play a game together, Magnus Carlsen got up and left. Refused to play him. Wow. Yeah. That's like uh, that's like Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. When they, when, mm. like, by the time they actually fought, Manny Pacquiao was past his prime. So, of course, Mayweather won. Because they tried to fight for like five years, <laughs> I mean, yeah, and they I mean, kept and he kept like not fighting him, and then yeah, and then, then he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'll fight him now." Now that he's like old, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess it's kind of like that. Except yeah. both of these guys are, you know, the best chess players in the world right now. What's really funny about this whole story is I uh, sometimes I still listen to this radio show from Cleveland that I listen to on and off like forever because I've been on the radio for like twenty years, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe. Six months ago, I was listening to an episode, and there's a guy in the show, and he's kind of like this, like meathead, like jock kind of type character, and, and and then there's this other guy who's kind of like this nerdy indie rock kind of like guy. He's like this, and like so he bet the other guy that he could beat him in football trivia for like something. He's like, I'll tell you what, I'll beat you in football trivia for whatever it was, and he got like all the questions right. And the guy accused him of cheating, and he actually was using something, like, in his ass to, like, cheat. Like, so I think it was a whole How bit. How do you use something in your ass to cheat? Is it, like, multiple choice and then, like... Well, yeah, it was, like, well, it was, like, uh, it was, like, 
true false questions. Oh. And then so somebody would make it buzzed if it was like true or false or like whatever. Oh. And, I, and I'm sure it was probably a bit for the whole probably to, probably to mimic off of because this is an older story, yeah, yeah, I guess, is. probably. Yeah. So it probably now that I'm hearing this, I didn't know about this. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that was like that's, that's really weird. And like, so it probably was a whole bit. Like people like me who didn't know about the chess thing were like, "Oh, that's really effed up that this dude put a." a <laughs> he did, there's so there's no proof of that. There was only speculation, and honestly, I'm like, I don't know how a a um something placed in that cavity would tell you to make the right chess move. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like like how is someone else watching the game and vibrating what to do? I don't understand. He's already a chess master. Who's going to be in his ear telling him how to do better? Like. A computer. Oh, like like someone's sitting in front of Chat GPT, and they're like, <laughs> "What? I mean, All right, queens, queens, rook to pawn no. six. Asking Chat GPT what chess moves to make against Magnus Carlsen is the wildest ish you could ever do. <laughs> like, if you do that. that, you need to just see a therapist. I would do it. But yeah, I don't know. So honestly, update on the story, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know, know if they've played. I don't know if they played. I don't care, I, to be um, honest. I mean, it would be interesting to see if Magnus Carlsen could finally be dethroned because, like I said, he is the best chess player in the world and has been since Bobby Fischer. He's been doing it for a very, very long time. It would be nice to see if, like, so this is this is a clash of titans is what you don't understand. Hans Niemann came up from his grassroots. He came up through the, uh, through the online circuit, and he made it to the grand stage. So, of course, there's going to be some speculation. Is, is he using performance enhancing drugs? Uh, can he actually can he actually contend against this great titan of chess? So, yeah, I mean, there, there's some there's some interest there. It, it it's was like Mike Tyson versus Kimbo Slice. Exactly. There's nothing like that. It's definitely <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely a story for a reason. So we, I mean, I'm I'm never gonna take anything off of uh, Han, uh, Magnus Carlson's jacket because he is great. Um, you're talking to an ex chess club member, and yes, I have watched some professional chess. How's your chess club skills? Better than yours. Where's your chess rank? We gonna I, put a match on the t on the on the on the channel? Jonas, we already played chess. We played chess at the Armadillo. We didn't play each other. Oh, that's yes, true. Yeah. You couldn't beat the guy that I beat. I was drunk. I was drunk too. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> no, what ended up actually we we drawed it because like we didn't we didn't like pull pieces off the, the table or something like we got part way through and then some we realized something was jacked. I up. do not feel in my heart of hearts that I would ever turn down that challenge. So I feel like I I may have been like a hey, I'll retire as all time champion possible, or I'll be like yo let's play. But yes. I will definitely play chess with you on a channel versus mode. Let's go. Uh oh. I will I'm never. Not. I'm not very good at chess. Never back down from a challenge. I know you won't. Never. Yeah. I don't mind losing. That's the I thing. Oh, either. No, you hate it. <laughs> I don't hate losing. Watch Resident Evil playthrough. I play volleyball all the time and lose and don't hate it. <laughs> I hate losing to computers. <laughs> Oh, God, God damn it. Well, you a goddamn computer? I'm a freaking Radeon 3080. You're, you're, a, uh, you're an Android this whole I time? I am. I am. God damn you're talking it. No to wonder an you Apple. wanted Neuralink. <laughs> you damn right. I'm going to receive my freaking butt tickles from the Elon Musk Neuralink. <laughs> I'm get your, your, your Musk probe yeah. in before. Uh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Mother effort. Hey, if you know anything about the Magnus Carlsen, Hans Neiman uh, rivalry, let us know because we do not. Yeah, I don't know and won't look it up. So if you're interested, <laughs> put it in the comments so we know what's going on. Yo, it's so funny how they always say that, like, podcast. You didn't know anything, let us know, because we ain't going to look it up. Yeah, all right, yeah, anyway, yeah exactly. So, okay. anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. See you, uh, We out.